Hello Gearspace, this is Victor from Virem and I'm very proud to present to you today the octopoid sequencer. It's a Euclidean pattern sequencer, so meaning that you can generate rhythms and chord and melodic progressions based on the Euclidean pattern. So it's related to the octopus, a beautiful animal, and you have the central head unit which is the brain of the octopus, and you have eight arms, the, uh, ar the arm units, the arms of the octopus. So for example, using the head unit, you can access more channel settings. For example, you can change velocity of the channels, you can add some uh, velocity variations, some timing variations to, to make things more human, um, so they're not that straight. You can arrange modules and groups, so if you want, for example, unmute or mute multiple units at the same time, you can do this by these groups. You have the ability to store your presets on an internal SD card, so you have 10 banks, each with 16 slots. You have different playback modes, um, I can uh, again tell you about this later. And you have some more settings, like for example MIDI settings, you have internal clock settings, as well as you can use an external clock. So basically this is the menu, of the, the menus of the main unit. Then we have the eight arm units. So currently uh, the lower unit is playing the synth that you're listening to. Uh, for example, the upper unit is uh, triggering now a drum rack, so I will unmute the chord sound here. And you see it immediately, it's starting to play the Euclidean pattern, so you can it's not starting immediately, it does it quantize, so every full bar you can unmute or mute uh, channels. You can change this behavior also in the settings, so you can do this after two cycles, three cycles, or immediately, just as you want. So let's, for example, unmute the kick channel. Okay, like this you can perform using uh, the Euclidean patterns. You can easily access the Euclidean patterns by these four parameters. You can switch by to these parameters if you click the buttons once. So for the left two parameters and for the right two parameters. So the left parameter, for example, determines how many subdivisions you will have in a bar. You can also rotate, for example, uh, the, the, the Euclidean patterns, like I do here. This parameter here determines how many beats should be active according to the Euclidean pattern. And this one defines the pitch of each module. So currently I have some drum rack and I can trigger other drum sounds by this. Okay, let's go back to, to the four. You can also change, for example, the playback speeds of the modules. So I just have one hand free right now. So uh, I can, for example, increase the timing of this module. And if I tap it once more again, it will return to the original speed. So for example, I could have done this and at the same time, for example, start with the percussion part here. Let's add some snare part. And change it maybe. So, based on these Euclidean patterns, I can easily create rhythms and chord progressions. Maybe one more thing about chords. Let me change the, the preset, the sound, and go to something else. I load uh, something else. It's, I change the preset. Now it sounds awful because I also have to change the sound in turn of my MPC. But now we're here. Okay, now we have something else. Uh, this bell sound that you're listening to is created or triggered by the lower sequencer. And again, it's running in split mode, so not all modules are running at the same time. I can also determine this by this configuration here, so I can also have 2, 2, 2, 2, or 1, 1, 1, 1. By this, I can add or create more variations. So, actually, this guy here now is not triggering only an A1. I can access the pitch parameter, I can keep it touched, and actually, this guy is triggering a minor chord. So, for example, major 7, minor 7, and things like that. So by this, I can also create chord progressions. One more thing, I also have the floppy mode, which stands for floating pitch. So I can tune the pitch of all modules at the same time using an external MIDI device. So for example, now using this MIDI keyboard, I can change the pitch. back. Let's add some kick sound. 
Okay, so there's also another mode. So it's running now in continuous mode, meaning that the sequencer runs continuously. I can also go to reset mode, and now the sequencer will only start to play as soon as I keep a, 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 a note pressed. And once I release it, it will stop play. So I can use the sequencer as a kind of an arpeggiator. So I hope you like it. And there's also a more compact version of it. So this is the, the bigger brother and this is the smaller brother. Uh, it's the tiny version. Basically, it offers all the same features as the bigger brother. Uh, so you have all the modules inside here. So uh, this is maybe more, more nice for people that would prefer to work with modular setups uh, as you save space, for example. The bigger version I would prefer if, you like, if you're, for example, a musician, a live act, you have the whole overview, you want to tweak and tune multiple parameters at the same time. So these are the differences. But, ba but basically, it offers the same as the bigger brother. Okay, so uh, that's it. Uh, it's not on the market yet. Um, I'm a small business uh, in Bonn. Actually, I'm doing this alone right now. And um, yeah, I did this during the last years in my free time. Uh, and I'm right at the beginning right now. So um, yeah, I hope it will be possible to get these, these things at the end of this year, uh, produce them by myself. Um, it's hard to say how much, I still have to calculate what, what it will cost. Okay. But it, it will be, the bigger one might be b between 1,500 and 2,000, let's see. I can't tell it yet. Yeah, you can reach me on my website, for example. Yeah. It's virem.info. So this is standing from my name, Victor Ratza Modula. Uh, you can reach me also at Instagram, for example, also virem.info. And yeah, I would be happy to hear from you and get feedback and tell me about your impressions, what you think about it. I'm open for input.